I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later.
Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. No, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh? Well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the old metro? Who <coughs> will be here in ten years? Uncle Artyom! Don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? Which is very have our best fighters taking unnecessary risks. What will we do if all the Spartans come down with radiation poisoning like Artyom and the Nazis try something? Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave us a scare, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you're all right. This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you're are you the nurses in the hospital, huh? You just stopped crowding him. <sighs> Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Aha, Priviat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. Well, you guys are like <laughs> So kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> uh, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a hands off limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <laughs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here, but monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat, with a kitchen, and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now.
Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. Do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Away we go. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that.
What the? What a job. Are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? Shit, what do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train too! Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did! Come on, get in! Picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the Order Commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. God. These people, the they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. Get Fool, he could have lived. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
damned watchman so broke through. What get here, I wonder? <sighs> the workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. Place. If anything comes Safe through, control. shoot. Send a group there to seal the exit and pick up the remains. Attention! The turntable is switching on. I knew I could expect anything from the old timer, but shouting at the captain? <laughs> That's too much. Isn't he just drunk out of his mind? All the train drivers make moonshine. They always have fire going there, after all. Oh, shut up. If life hit you as hard as it hit that man... You've had just about enough of your whining, you old fuck! You're heading straight for the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen. If you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand. Ah. Animals. Ah. How can they? Uh, what can I do? Ah. The mutant? Who watchman? Ah. A human? How did you? Oh. oh, my God! It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Sergeant. Senya, go tell the workers. Have them check. Don't rush. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yerma. Move crouched. So it's quieter that way. <laughs> See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Just stay out of the light, please. Stay close to the wall. Yermak, is that you? Technician what are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. You can't follow me. Take that ladder instead. Yermak, what's taking you so long? Uh, a shoelace got untied. I'm coming now. I have a question here. Simon Mikhailovich, there's a fire at the generators. You should see it. Safe in here? Yeah, I, mean, I totally need you to tell me what I should do. 
Better fix this line. Everything here. is under control. Don't sweat. Come on, move it. Your bag of bones. Yeah, under control. By the way, what happened to the workers they sent to fix that fight? Fight! It's none of You'll the have to take business. it down. That's what. Can you do it quietly? What are you doing standing here? Don't you have shit to do? Everyone got What's to ask that questions. Mumbling? Come on, man. No, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I got the memory problem, you see. Ah, oh, you're mad. Time to fit that pine jacket, huh? Yeah. that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Through, come on. This system supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. I will, of course, do what I can, but uh, I am not much of a fighter, as you could guess. Good luck to you. Think your dad is in on it all? He's training our people. Who could do it better? Not what? What is this place? What are those towers? Why did you shoot my Arsion? Why? Nobody wanted him there. You two would get some lashes and be given back to Miller. Why did that idiot have to stick his <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Throw me at you! <laughs> Alert! <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> Artyom! Oh, oh my god! You're alive! Alive! Are you hurt? Hunter's badge? It stopped the bullet! Take this, bitch! Don't move! Morons! We are at war! One death won't be enough for you now, you what is this imbeciles! Equipment? This is the universal broadband radio jammer. What? It stops Moscow from hearing anyone, and them from hearing us. Shit! This fucking sucks. <laughs> You were right all along! Do you see? It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world! Oh my god! What for? Because the war is still going on! And you behave like fucking kids! All the guards will be here soon. Damn! Don't shoot! Not you? with him! With you! You have to run!
Artyom, let's go. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then, God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, be careful. Hey! Hey, guys! Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost! Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Just so, what do you think it was? Did that bitch actually stop some shit? No idea, really. Maybe she had help. Them spies! They still keep looking for us. An old hag and a fucking team? Those were some mighty spies there, my friend. Yeah, sure. And then they just walked in here all by themselves, did they? A chopper brought them and then scooted. Oh, yeah! Agent Hag reporting! Naturally, they're pretending to be civilians. Hey, behind the crate. crate! Can you see it? The enemy is behind those crates! Yeah, he is. Okay. You better go. 
attention. The command center He's came under enemy down. attack. Changing position, Artyom. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Artyom, the hangar is right there. We can break attention. through. Attention. The jamming system is coming back online. Great job, Artyom. We're inside. You can take the mask off, Artyom. Now we have to find Yermak. Check the ravine. Yes, sir. Artyom, they got your neck. We have to get closer. Getting killed standing guard in a place If you get closer, I'll distract them while you rescue the old man. Doesn't sound like a good career prospect. Artyom, try going down that ladder ahead. Just be careful. Is somebody guarding Yermak? Yes, sir. Mika's watching him. Captain, sir. If I may have permission to speak. This Yermak is one shady character. What does he do in the crate? It's only setting off tomorrow. We'll find out. First, we handle the attackers, and then we take time talking to him. Ah, oh, that's great. He's been acting way too suspicious lately. I'm telling you, there was a noise from behind the gate. There's not a... Ah, this is nice. The only thing missing is a good smoke. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Maybe I just want to get the far away from Group A, place. report your status. It's just a lost cause standing guard here. Group B, continue patrolling what the courtyard in the generator room. Gotta tell maintenance. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. <laughs> Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? They just had to attack now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already, and I feel like shit. I should see the doctor. You should tell the Major. Might be time for your transfusion. Well, go outside and check. Oh, fuck that. What if it's human? Group D, redeploy to the generator room. What the hell? Ah, you can sneak ahead. No need to play heroes for a change. Let's wait till they walk off. Why can't you just stay still, Yerbach? We're on high alert. Civilians aren't allowed to just walk around now. Does that mean you're going to ready the train for me? What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? You only had an outing plan for tomorrow, and it's bound to be cancelled now. Just stay put for now. We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. Ah, <sighs> safe posting, no responsibilities. What else could a soldier wish for? Well, some drinks would be nice, I guess.
Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Heads up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! The enemy is in that path! together. Nice. We apprehended the engineer 
Over with two accomplices. Over. Roger that, base. Over. All right. Shoot these two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this the you dare right give me a limp, soldier. Here. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What oh, the no. hell? Uh, Artyom! Guys, what are you doing here? Talk about surprise. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line down. Oh, shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let them. No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what in the Anna ravine, about, there are so people from it's other cities, dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. And I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to you know my this call and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's us. Us. Yes. Who? Who? All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch some air. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Uh? Scratch their paint, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it. Colonel, sir! I will be appointing the volunteers here. Artyom will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started the talk, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic explosive. You really go. You cover if needed. Cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? 
We? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On the simple joyride? No, I see only one after you've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Class, treason. We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause. You sold out. They destroyed us and you? I have been a soldier my whole life. I have dedicated my life to my people, my country. And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you. Not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. 